Hey everyone, this is Bremster, and I'm coming to you today with puzzle number 113 in the Sudoku problem series. This is a killer problem submitted by Wushal. Um, this was submitted as a medium maybe hard, but after one of my testers completely failed this puzzle and it took me over 10 minutes, um, this one I'm rating as a very hard. I'm sorry, Wushal, but uh, yeah. Um, so... Um, this is a killer problem. The goal is to fully resolve box five and to place the digits into the cells marked with X's as well. So basically all of the central stuff. Um, there is a link below to where you can get a copy of the grid and try it for yourself. Um, there is a fair bit of stuff to figure out on this one. Um, I may actually have to refer to notes during the video on this one. So we'll see how we go. Um, feel free to give this one a try. I'm going to pause for a few seconds um, to let you pause the video and... Um, give this one a try and then I'll be back to try and explain how this one works. Okay, so buckle up. This one is a bit of a journey. As I said, I've got some notes open. I'm going to try and not refer to them, but if I get stuck, I will, because I've done this one twice now and each time it's like, ah, what am I looking for? So the break into this one um, starts with looking at the math on these cages. So there's a fair bit of pressure put on this central cell by this. So the cages themselves sum to 12 plus 12, which is 24, plus 14, which is 38, plus 9, which is 47. So we've got 47 on in these cages already. And we know that the central box is going to contain the digits 1 to 9, so they will sum to 45. So we've got some pressure here because the minimum we can put in this cell because it sees one and two is a three. The minimum we can put in this cell because it sees one and two is a three. The minimum we can put in this cell because it sees one and two is a three. And the minimum we can put in this cell is a one. So we've already got 10 that we can provide, uh, that we have to put into the cages already. So the maximum that these can be is 37. They can't go above 37. If they go above 37, 37 plus 10, or th say these are even 38, 38 plus 10, which is the minimum these can be, would get us to 48, and the cages only sum to 47. So that's not going to work. So these must be at least a uh, maximum 37. But that means because the entire box must sum to 45, they can only be 36 or 37 and making up the total with an eight or a nine. But we've got a problem if these are all threes, because if this is, a if all of these are threes, there's nowhere to put three in the central box. This three sees all of those cells, this three sees all of those cells, and this three sees that cells just by Sudoku, but this three sees that cell by killer, and this three sees that cell by killer. So there's nowhere to put a three. So we can't make all of those threes. One of them must be something that we can't go down. We have to go up because those ones can't be um, higher. And therefore, one of those must at least be a four, which means we've lost our degree of freedom on this center of cell because we must have three three four and one which is 11 once we subtract 11 from the 47 we've got 36 and this must make up the difference which means this must be a nine and we've got two threes and a four and this must be a one we've automatically got that well, automatically. That's something that you can figure out <laughs> if you look. Now, the next trick is where does one go in this central box? Because it can't go here or here or here. So it's in one of those two. Now, a one here is going to cause a problem because one and three means this would have to be a 10. That's not going to work. One and four would mean this has to be a nine and that's not going to work either. So this isn't the one. This is the one. Now, we do know that two of these have to be three or we're going to blow the total. Now, what happens if both of these are the three now that we've got this one? Well, this would mean that three can't go in any of these cells and this three would knock three out of there. So this would be a three, but that would make this three, one and four. And three, one and four sums to eight, not 12. So this would break this puzzle. So one of those has to be the four. This cannot be the four because we've only got one four to play with. This has to be a three. Three and one sum to four to make the 12. This has to be an eight. Now, the next thing we want to look at, if I can remember, I'm actually going to refer to this so I don't get too lost. Um, so the next question is, where do we put the four? Now, if we put the four here, um, these would have to sum to 10, 
but that's going to be a problem because if these sum to 10, we can't use 1, 9 because the 1, 9 not available. We can't use 2, 8 because the 8's not available. We can't use 3, 7 because the 3's not available. And we can't use 4, 6 because we've put 4 here. So if this is 4, we can't make the 10. So this has to be the 3. We need two 3's and a 4. This becomes the 4, and now we've got the totals. Now it boils down to mostly Sudoku. Where do we put 3 in this box? We can't put it in here because of the column. We can't put it in here because of the row. This becomes 3. We've got 4 and 3, which sums to 7. We need another 5. This is a 3-5 pair. This 5 means that this is the 3 and this is the 5. Now, the next question is, where do we put 4 in this box? Well, we can't put it in the 9 cage, because if we put 4 in the 9 cage, this would be 1, 4, and in, these sum to 8, basically, and if we put 4 in here, we'd need to put 4, 4. So the 4 goes in here, 3 and 4 sum to 7, so this must be a 4, 7 pair. The 4 can't go there, so that's the 7 and that's the 4. The last two digits that we need to put into this box are 2, and the final digit is a 6, which solves the problem, because 1, 2, and 6 sum to 9. This is quite tricky. I had, as I said, one of my testers failed this puzzle, and I've done this several times in order to be able to bring you the solution. Um, if you found this one medium or hard, congratulations. I have no problem with me having rated these up, but I do want to use this series to bring new people to Sudoku rather than have people come to it and go, this is rated medium and I can't even see a way of starting, therefore I don't feel welcome here. So I would prefer to rate a puzzle harder and have people feel, oh, I did this easier than expected, than to rate something easier and have people scared away. Um, and I thought there were a lot of tricks in this one that might people might find quite tricky. The math at the start is tricky, and then some of those eliminations I thought were quite tricky. But it's an excellent problem. Um, this one, I've had a few in the last few days that just blew my mind. So, um, And this is definitely one of them. This is a stunning problem. Thank you, Bushel, for submitting it. Um, yeah, so... Thanks everyone for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed this problem. I know I did, even though it's taken me about 45 minutes to get it into my head. Um, yeah, thanks everyone. I hope you're enjoying the other content on the channel, of course. And as always, good luck with your solving.